the sheriff's career change came as a surprise to many people, even those in parish government who have worked with him for a long time. Meg Ferris joins us live from Causeway and Veterans in Metairie, where the statue of Sheriff Norman's predecessor, Harry Lee, stands. Good evening, Meg. That's right, Karen and Tan, and I spoke to the operations and programming director, Diane Newman of WWL Radio today, and she said she'd hear the sheriff come on on these live press conferences and sit there and listen to him and say, in her gut, she just knew he could be a good talk show host. And she said it was because he spoke truth to power. He had no fear. And as we know, he always gave his opinion. But now today, parish council members are reacting to this career change. Thank you so much. The Jefferson Parish Council chairman says Sheriff Norman has a great poker face. Their conversation yesterday did not reveal today's news. Well, he has always been uh, one that's been outspoken. Um, he learned that from his predecessor. Um, uh, if it was a controversial issue, Newell was never one to shy away from giving his opinion. Um, in that respect, uh, our loss for the parish is going to be their gain. Councilman Chris Roberts says crime is an important concern for citizens, and the sheriff's honesty of opinion gave the parish stability and a sense of peace and relief. I think that gave people a sense of um, assurement that, you know, that the deputies that were on the road had the support of their commander and that we weren't going to tolerate nonsense uh, on the streets. And while Roberts believes the department will continue being proactive against crime, his colleague, Councilwoman Cynthia Lee Shang, says citizens will get to see Sheriff Norman's broad scope of knowledge in economic development and business. But when he told me what was going on and I heard the excitement in his voice and the new challenge that he has, the opportunity to do, um, I was nothing but happy for him. I mean, he's, Newell is a very, very intelligent man and he's still going to give back to our community. For her, the move is bittersweet. She's known the sheriff since she was 12, and he worked alongside her father, Sheriff Harry Lee. I'll say, to be honest, it's a bittersweet day. And when Cynthia Lee Shang was asked would she run for sheriff, she said, I'm not even halfway through this job of being a councilwoman. She says she loves her job and there's still a lot of work to be done. And she said that the sheriff's department will always have her support. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, there's an election coming up now for the new sheriff, and we'll talk about that. Reporting live from Metairie, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News.